Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Sunday afternoon. Decidedly different day than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was kind of rainy and then maybe a little bit sunny-ish, but it was 75 degrees and icky humid, which is like, seriously, where'd that come from? I knew it was supposed to be nice out, but I didn't know it was supposed to be humid out. And that was sort of gross. So yesterday I was obviously starting the build out in the garage. And you know, when I say starting the build out, obviously it was, I was hanging paneling, but that's something because I had to move all the shit off the wall, kind of get everything out of the way and sort of envision where I wanted all that paneling to be. And it literally is the start of the build out because uh, you know, the garage has become nothing more than a junkyard and I let it happen. And I have all this space in there that I could be doing cool shit with. And really all I'm doing is just filling it with garbage and then whining about it and having to get rid of the garbage. And then you get a time lapse of me cutting down 5,000 cardboard boxes and all that kind of crap. I'm gonna have to get rid of the stuff that I pointed out in the video that has to go away. And then I have to find a better way of organizing what's there once everything that needs to go is gone. So once that all goes, that'll be good. Then I can use the leaf blower and blow out all the crap that, that's built up in and around all the nooks and crannies. And then I actually already ordered those those like exercise mat square things that, that sort of piece together. And I've got, I don't know, it's, I think it's like a six foot by five foot section. There's like 20 mats or whatever. And it comes up to a six by five. And I measured and that's, that's pretty much right within the, the guidelines or the, the outlines of the paneling. And that'll be good. Then what I need to do and I'm looking into this, but it looks like uh, I don't want to order them off of Amazon because I don't want to get something that's crap without seeing it and then have to deal with the rigmarole of sending it back. Now, there was one that I was going to, uh, like a bunch of sound deadening blankets. Also, keep in mind that I don't want to go out and spend $10,000 on freaking soundproofing shit for my garage. That's pointless. It doesn't need to, to be that extensive. And it's not like I'm going to be using that garage studio all the time. It's just a nice little backup or a change of scenery, so to speak. The other thing that I probably am going to have to do, because I don't want to put any kind of permanent shit up, meaning, I, you know, like, I'm, yes, all right, I put the paneling up, but, you know, the panelings are just going on a, on a jacked up garage wall and the panels themselves were already jacked up, but I spent so much on them, I didn't want to throw them away, so that doesn't count. But I'm talking about if I'm gonna be hanging like these panel, or I guess they're not even panels, but these blankets and all that stuff, I don't want to put them up in a way that, that they are going to be permanently mounted. So, you know, I'm not nailing them or staple gunning them to the walls or hanging them from the rafters or any of that kind of shit. So I'm probably gonna to have to get a couple of different, um, almost background stands so that I, that I can, clamp them to the background stand and just have them up if I need them up. And I can take them down if I don't need them up. And again, I don't need to spend a fortune for something that isn't going to be used all the time. I mean, it's still a garage. It's not insulated. So that means it's gonna be super hot as balls in the summer and freezing ass cold in the winter. So it isn't going to be used all the time like my normal studio up in my studio slash office. Also, you know, my wife goes in and out of the garage at least twice a day, sometimes three times a day if she comes home for lunch. So I can't have things mounted in the way or it's just gonna get blown over, knock over, wet, whatever. And leaves still come in, roaches still come in, spiders are everywhere. And you know, I gotta think about that. Okay, so that was kind of a bust, but a lot of that was all put off by the fact that I'm feeling weird because like a dumb monkey, I forgot my damn bag and now I don't have my phones. I, you know, I don't have any of the stuff that, that I carry around with me. So now I feel like I left my arm at home. So now I'm just gonna go to three ships, get us some drinks, and then I'm just gonna go home and, and just deal with whatever. Uh, I did walk the entire Home Depot and I did not see any blankets. And, and then I was like, ah, screw it. It's not like I'm gonna get them now anyways. All right, so it was a pretty low-key kind of a day. I obviously went to Home Depot, didn't find anything that I was looking for, forgot my damn purse, so I didn't have any of my phones or anything with me, and I just went to Three Ships, got us some drinks, came home, and then I started doing measurements. 
measurements and went into the garage and measured how far apart you know each side of the paneling is and how high up and how far away and all that stuff so the matting that i bought is six by five is more than enough sorry the jets are flying and there's nothing i can do about it it's going to get loud uh, so the six by five on the f on the like the pavement the floor of the garage will be enough to more than enough and it will also not only keep me from having to step on cold ass dirty concrete it will also have a little bit of sound absorption because i mean i'm in a garage with a concrete floor and drywalls and a metal garage door and all that kind of stuff so it's it's going to help hopefully alleviate some of the the sound tinny vibration that happens when you don't have proper sound deadening materials so that's going to be one thing that's going to go in there i also just ordered a i think it's an eight and a half foot by ten foot background kit that will allow me to then i'll spread that sort of on the back side to cover up the wall and any of the crap that's still there, which is gonna be like the ladders hanging, my bikes, all the shit that's all on the, the bottom of the wall and whatever else goes back there. Uh, I mean, I only have so much space that, that I can work with, but that'll cover all that up, which isn't that big of a deal because it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see that. You're gonna be pointing towards me in the paneling, but at least it will, then again, I'll be able to drape something over that and have it as sound dampening material then I'm going to have to get something on both sides. Now, I've also gone through my melon and come up with ideas of, of how I can decorate the set. I don't want it to look like it did before when I had the paneling in here. I thought, you know, maybe I'll get some planters with some fake plants or trees or something, vases, or sorry, vases, uh, you know, who knows. Then I just have to make sure that the power strip on that side uh, works because I don't know that it does. I'm gonna to have to figure out why it doesn't and get that refixed if it doesn't because I'm gonna to need to plug the light in on that side. I said I don't want the cable running across the floor. Not that I'm gonna keep it plugged in all the time, but you know what I mean? Like I just wanna be able to, to put a power strip in there, plug the light into it, and then I can just turn it on and off from the strip. Or actually I'll put in an automatic uh, smart plug so that I can plug into that. And I've got a few of those left too. It's all coming together but it's gonna take some time. The stuff that I ordered, as far as the background and all that shit, that's coming in, I think, Wednesday. I actually think that the exercise matting is coming in tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, I don't know. A lot's gonna happen when I come back. Hopefully on Wednesday, everything will have been delivered, as far as like the background stand and the exercise matting, and then I'm gonna to have to figure out, at that point now, what I'm gonna put on that back wall hanging from the, uh, the background stand. I still have a few days that are going to figure all that out and I'll be playing around now. So that's pretty much it. That's all I've got. I just wanted to sort of give you an idea of what's going on with that studio build out. I mean, really, the toughest part is done and that was getting shit off that wall and hanging the paneling. So, you know, that I guess that was the most labor intensive part other than just getting rid of all that junk now, which I'm gonna try to do tomorrow. I should be able to get that stuff loaded. I only have to go to the, to the around the block for me because I keep forgetting that that Goodwill drop off is there and see what they'll take. And then whatever they don't take, I might have to take a trip to the dump, who knows. All right, that's it. So again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.